Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at an RDA. It's called The One. And this is a collaboration between two mod makers we already know. You've got Raphael from 67 Mods and Pima from Vixet. This is a 22mm RDA and at this moment in time it's just a little batch that was run through a Facebook group. Uh, now I want you to be aware that there was only a hundred made. I've just got the retail version yesterday. I've had the prototype for quite some time but it's going to be one of these ones that may be hard to get a hold of but the reason for that is that they're testing the market first. They've put a small batch out only through the Facebook group and they're going to see where it goes from there. But that isn't going to stop me showing it off. I just hope that down the line they make a lot of them so that everybody can get a hold of one. But for now we'll do the close-ups. So here we have the one RDA made in our heads. I've met these guys. That's a scary prospect. Anyway, nice little presentation. A little plastic tub, metal lid. Unscrew this and inside you're going to find that, that you know, that's actually a very nice touch. Very simple thing, but it's pretty classy. Underneath here, you're going to find this little package and it doesn't come with a squonk pin fitted as standard, but you do have one in this packet. You have a spare terminal screw here and you also have a spare o-ring. I'm a miserable sod, but I would like to have seen two spare little grub screws there. But uh, yes, just got the one. In here we also have our atty and we also have, oh get out of there, another drip tip. We have an ultim drip tip and we have a palm drip tip here as well. And you can see that the ultim one's a little short stubby fella and the palm one is just a little bit on the taller side. And it does have what I would consider a normal bore. This is not an 810 or anything like that. This is not going to be for massive wide airflow. Now the Atti is 22 millimeters in diameter and it's just over 17 millimeters top to bottom, not including a drip tip or the 510. Quite simple and classy on the bottom. We have one on here and you will also have a serial number and I've got 111. If you want to use this on a hybrid, you can do because the 510 protrudes quite nicely there. But you know, you would just unscrew that, swap over the squonk pin and away you go. The design, it's, you know, it's always going to be down to the individual whether or not you like the step look there. Um, you know, I was always a fan of uh, Norbert's, the Origins back in the day. And so I do kind of quite like the stepped look. The top cap is Palm as well. And if you don't know Palm plastic, basically, it's a thermal plastic. You can see it's actually, once you get this on, it is actually, it gives you quite a reduced chamber. We do have little air holes going on here. Kind of hard to show you in the, the black, but you can just make that out there. I make them just about 3mm by 1.5, roughly, uh, and you've got them going on both sides. Now, knowing that, you know, Pima from Vixet, you know, he makes lots of different top caps for various atties, so I would expect, you know, lots of different top caps coming down the line. Now the prototype I've been using for quite some time, uh, we only had a positive and a negative here. We didn't have this here. It just means that, you know, I didn't have an issue with the prototype, but I can see why they put this extra one in here. You know, it just makes it easier for some people to build with this device. You do have this cut out here so you can rest your building rod in here, you know, when you're putting your coil in. And up the top, we do have, you know, you've got little hex screws in here. You can see, hopefully here, that, you know, putting this through the, the air hole here, it's targeted down towards the base here. So, you know, you can get your coil quite far down there, and this is, the air is just going to come down and smack the bottom of it. The deck itself in there, you know, just coming from the edge here into the bottom, you're looking at about five and a half mil. So it is quite a deep little well, but you know, bear in mind you're going to have cotton sitting here and here, but it's not something you can squonk massively with. You know, you're not going to get a whole heap of juice in there, but I've not had any issues with flooding, you know, mainly because the airflow is angled up the way. We do have a single o-ring on here. The top cap is held on well. I mean, I would advise getting a bit of e-liquid round here. 
you don't have a lot to grab onto to pull this top cap off. You know, if you try and grab the top and pull it off, it can be a little bit in the stiff side. So just a little bit of e-liquid around the O-ring and it's okay after that. Just showing you one of the posts here, you can see the size you've got to work with for getting wire through there. I have no issues with round wire or anything like that. I've been using 26 gauge pretty much all the time with my prototype. It's what I prefer and it's been working really well with that. For this build, I'll try something different. Just before I pop a coil in here, just to point out, uh, between here, you can see that it narrows down just a little bit here and here. It's about 6.3 mil, so that's the amount of room you've got to play with in here. Now I'm just going to take a coil and I'm just, generally it's really straightforward this, I'm just going to drop it in there, flick it around there, and that's pretty much me. I've just got to tighten it down and straighten it out. I could, if I wanted to, you know, I could have my two leads going just through here. It's entirely up to you. It's whatever works for you. So I just snip my wires off. Make sure that you get them, you know, you have to get them right in there. If you don't, then the top cap won't sit down flush. It's something I've found myself doing a few times, just not cutting it in tight enough. Now, even with the way that's cut there just now, that will actually stop my top cap sitting on properly. Now, as always with these things, coil position is key. Now, the temptation is to, you know, because you've got this cut out here, you know, that's where you rest your rod when you're putting your coil in. You think, well, that's where I should put the coil. You don't have to. Muck about, move it up and down and find what works best for you. I actually find I prefer my coil to sit a bit higher than that and almost level with the top section here. That just works for me. As far as cotton goes, I just cut it just a little bit further out than the edge of the atty and just fluff her out like that and then just fold it over and, and push her down and that's it. Same on the other side, once again just folding it over and pushing it down to the bottom. It's very light though, I've not packed in there or anything like that. Now that was a 3mm inner diameter clapped in coil, it's coming out about 0.35, I've just raised it up slightly uh, to where I kind of like my coils to sit and the cotton is sitting in there nice and fluffed out ready to go. Grab my top cap, once again get some juice onto those o-rings, line up my air holes, there we go, and then just pop it on. I think since I'm using a rowdier coil than I normally would, I'm going to use the, the bigger drip tip. And all my other 510 drip tips have fitted fine on this. Right, let's get down to brass tacks. So, I have two set up here. I have one with a rowdy coil in it that you saw me building. I'm vaping that at 40 watts. The other one, I'm vaping with a 1 ohm coil at 18 watts. Now, the airflow on this RDA, it's almost identical to the Narda and the Narca. I would say just a tiny, tiny little bit more restriction on it. Not much, but just a tiny, tiny little bit. So it's, it's a lot tighter than say the, the Haku. It's a lot more restricted than a Haku. It's a little bit more restricted than say a Hassar RDA. So, so that's how the airflow is working. The flavor is brilliant. Two thumbs up. It's it's there. It, for me, the flavour on this is there with a Narda and a Narca, and and that's the just two thumbs up in that front. I absolutely love the flavour from this Atty. Ten out of ten. Building on it is also very very easy. Uh, I understand why they went for the third post. Now the prototype only had the two. I didn't find that an issue. I understand why they went the third one but it's just it's a nicety it's a nice to have and it makes it easier for people to build with presentation the way it comes the way it looks and everything like that and once again really well done and, and don't forget that the pima you know these are being produced by vixet pima makes top caps for everything so he will be making more top caps for these down the road i am sure so there'll be a lot more gear coming for them it's not all as with all things in life, it's not all sunshine, roses and flowers and kisses. We do have a couple of niggles. It is a very short RDA and because it's stepped as well, you know, you have this, the thicker part at the bottom actually getting the top cap off. For me, 
even though the o-ring is lubed up, is a pain in the ass. Um, I do struggle to get the top cap off, I do have to use a vape band, and for me that is the biggest negative about this device, is trying to get the top cap off. The only other thing worth mentioning is that you have to make sure, I covered it in the close-ups, you have to get that wire snipped right in. If you don't, the top cap will not sit flush, so be very careful when you're building that you snip that wire off. You do get a squonk pin, you get a 510 pin, the presentation, everything is really good. But, you know, there are those negatives and I do have to mention them to you. Doesn't matter how much I love the vape quality, building with it and all that, I do have to point out the negatives as well because they do exist. It may just be me with getting the top cap off because I have big fingers, big old paws, so it's not easy for me to get purchase on the top cap. But yeah, something to mention. And the only other negative worth mentioning is the fact that there's only a hundred out there just now. They're seeing how they sell. If these go well, feedback is good, then hopefully they're going to make a pile more and people will be able to buy them. But if you do get a hold of one, I strongly believe that you will love it. If you have a Narda, Narca, Hussar RDA, that kind of intense airflow and flavour, then bang on, it's in the same ballpark and I think it's a tremendous little dripper. Jo job well done, seriously job well done. Listen, thank you to Raphael and Pima for, for letting me try the prototype and for also sending me the final retail version. They've also given me a spare one, which I will be doing a charity raffle for down the line. I'll be putting it together with a squonker and uh, money will be getting raised for the Dogs Trust. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye for now. To the side of me you will find two more videos that I think you may be interested in. There is a big button below, you can hit and subscribe to the channel and as always please feel free to leave comments in the video below.